Hello and welcome to ProjectWise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course Importing Folders and Documents into ProjectWise In this lesson, we will learn how to import folders as well as documents into ProjectWise We will also learn what exactly is a placeholder document and its use We will briefly discuss the difference between no wizard versus advanced wizard when creating new documents in ProjectWise. We have a set of CAD DGN files as well as Office documents that is currently sitting on our local C or D drive or even on the network drive. In order to bring these documents into ProjectWise, we need to have both ProjectWise Explorer and Windows Explorer sitting side by side. Once we identify the ProjectWise folder, we can drag and drop these documents from Windows Explorer to the ProjectWise document list area. Or we can simply drop it into the ProjectWise folder. If this is the first time we import documents into ProjectWise, most likely we will be prompt to select no wizard. That means we are going to import the documents into ProjectWise and the name of the documents, we make it exactly the same name as we found it from the local drive. Advanced wizard. As we import documents into ProjectWise, this is the chance for us to name the documents to follow a certain naming convention. This naming convention can be defined and configured by ProjectWise administrators. We will cover this in a separate module. For now, let's just choose No Wizard. Let's also enable Make This Wizard the default choice. So we won't be prompt again every time we import the documents. In a separate module, we will look at how we can get this dialog window to display again. Let's go ahead and click OK to bring the documents into ProjectWise. Since we directly drop the documents into a ProjectWise folder, we are getting a dialog window to ask us if we really want to bring these files into the ProjectWise docs folder. Let's go ahead and click yes. We see the progress dialog showing us the documents being imported into ProjectWise. Via the drag and drop method, we are not limited to just import documents into ProjectWise. We can also import the entire project with folders, subfolders, as well as documents into ProjectWise. So here in Windows Explorer, this is our little project with a few documents and two subfolders that we want to bring into ProjectWise. We can drag and drop our little project into the ProjectWise projects folder. We are prompted with the import directories dialog. Enable include subdirectories. If we wish to bring all the documents from the folders, subfolders into ProjectWise. Enable import files only. It will bring all the documents from the project, but ProjectWise will not create the subfolders. When import files only is not enabled, ProjectWise will create those subfolders. Environment, it will be discussed in a separate module. Storage, this will be a location where the ProjectWise files are stored. If we are using a Bentley hosted ProjectWise data source, there is only one storage to choose from. If your organization is hosting ProjectWise data, your ProjectWise administrator may have multiple storages for you to choose where to store the ProjectWise files. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Here the progress dialog window will show us the status of the import. Now we have our little project successfully imported into ProjectWise with documents as well as subfolders. We might think it's pretty logical for us to go to a selected folder and create a new document in the document list area via right mouse click. 
new document. Yes, while we can do that, but it's more complicated than we think. This method of creating documents is creating a placeholder document. And the document name begins with doc and a five digit number. This also referred to as a fileless document because it doesn't have any file attached. We will need to go to the advanced option and then bring in an existing document from our local drive. Creating placeholder documents are pretty rare for day-to-day -day users. The easiest method is drag and drop documents from Windows Explorer or File Explorer into ProjectWise. So it's really no good reason for regular ProjectWise users to create placeholder documents. Let's go ahead and close this dialog box and not save the document. ProjectWise administrators, however, do have practical use of placeholder documents to generate custom pick lists. For more information about this, you can refer to the Enhanced Environment module in the Advanced Accreditation course. During this lesson, we have learned how to import folders as well as documents into ProjectWise. We also learn what placeholder documents are and how ProjectWise administrators can make good use of it. We also learned the difference between no wizard versus advanced wizard when creating new documents in ProjectWise. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.